Hi, I'm author Bitsy Kemper. I'm here to talk about the eight most important things new picture book writers need to know. Uh, honey, do you mind? I'm, I'm trying to shoot a video. Sorry. Okay. All right. Some of these things I learned the hard way. Some of these things I figured out by researching the industry on my own. Some of the things I'm still learning. I'm not an artist, but I took some pictures and this is what I think the main character should look like. So I took these, I was thinking pastels, maybe some. I had my niece illustrate it for me. Ha! Little known fact. Most writers never meet their illustrators. My illustrator, same guy for all four books. I don't know what he looks like. Don't know where he lives. I've never met him. I've never even sent him an email. It's the publisher's and editor's job to find the right illustrator for your work. Your job as a writer is to write so beautifully that it opens up creative illustration possibilities. Okay, I have a story. Well, not so much a story as a bunch of poetic, thought-provoking, meaningful anecdotes. This manuscript is based on things my grandma says. It's called Things My Grandma Says. Don't touch the stove, it's hot. Let's make donuts. Strangers are strangers because they're weird. A story has a beginning, a middle, and an end. The main character is different at the end of the book than they were at the beginning by overcoming obstacles in the middle. A series of anecdotes, no matter how charming, is not a book. So, I'm not done with this yet, but I hope you would like it. It's all done. Except maybe you can help me figure out the ending? Only submit your best work once it's finished. You only have one chance to make a first impression. I hope that you can find the time to read the book I wrote in rhyme. Rhyming is at the very top of most editors and agents don't list. It's not that they don't like rhyme, it's that they don't like bad rhyme. It's really hard to do rhyme great. Editors and agents want it to be perfect. So unless you're an accomplished poet, leave it out of rhyme. Try this. Take your story out of rhyme, rewrite it without it, and see how it looks. If it's lacking and the story doesn't work, you might need to spend more time on your storyline. The rhyming should enhance the story, not be the reason for it. Monkey Mo makes more money mowing. Fiona the Floor Mop starring Fiona the Floor Mop. Becky Bunny bakes bunions. Please stop it with the alliteration and the talking of inanimate objects. Ugh. That's a huge newbie red flag. A lot of beginning writers use those techniques because they think that's what readers want. They don't. It's a true story. My grandkids love it. I've always wanted to get published. To write a children's book. To show my kids my grandkids, my uncle, my aunt, oh, that bully in fourth grade. <laughs> Look, editors and agents don't care if it's a true story. They don't care if your grandkids love it. They don't care if you've always wanted to get published. All they care about is the story. Does it read well? Is it a good story? Is it something readers want to read again and again? You mean we're not going to get rich? No. <laughs>
contract might range from a couple hundred dollars to a couple thousand dollars. Now, the fact that it's a picture book means you split that roughly 10% with the illustrator. That's the 10% of the net proceeds of the book, okay? You might only make about 25 cents per book considering the fact that most books have an average shelf life of two years, you're gonna have to sell a lot of books in a short amount of time to even make lunch money. Don't quit your day job, yet. Um, I emailed you my manuscript like two weeks ago. Shouldn't you be getting back to me by now? <laughs> You accepted my manuscript months ago. Shouldn't it be on sale at Target? If you don't have patience, find some. It could take a year or more to even hear back from a publisher. One time, 18 months after I submitted the story, I got it back with a rejection telling me that the editor no longer works at that publishing house. Hello, she did 18 months ago. Now. Getting your story published might take two to four years. That's not uncommon. Everything worthwhile takes time. Sure, there are exceptions to these eight rules, but not many. What you wanna do is arm yourself with as much information as possible so the road ahead of you is not gonna be as bumpy. Later, when you're more accomplished, break all the rules that you want. But when you're just getting started, stick to what's most likely gonna work. The good news, even if you're never published, I bet you're gonna enjoy the process. Now, my husband plays soccer every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Is he expecting it to get drafted? Is he hoping that there's some MLS scout on the sidelines watching him play, getting him ready for the MLS? No, no. He straps on those cleats and laces them up because he loves the game. If you don't love what you're doing, if writing doesn't make your heart sing, consider another hobby or career. You're the only you that can make yourself happy. So if you pay attention to me, all your books will be published. Lucy!